engine fires for 12 minutes. Just thinking, I think this is the first burn in the vicinity of the moon that's on this side. Hey, sequence, camera yeah. coming on. First descent propulsion system burn on this side. Well, no, any, burn, any burn of any magnitude at all. Let's see, all of our corrected burns were on the back side of the moon. Oh, yes, that's right. On Apollo 10, mm -hmm. they, they mm -hmm. came on up to Apogee and then fired. Uh, yes. To go into the, that's right. And by that time, they're on the far side again. Eagle Houston, if you'd like to try high gain, pitch 212, y'all, 37, over. Got a minute and a half. I, I think I've got you on high gain now. Roger. Coming up on one minute to ignition. One minute to ignition and 13 minutes to land. Right. Pitch 212, y'all, plus 37. Don't know, don't know that we could take the tension if they decide to go around again. <laughs> 40 seconds. Number. 30 seconds. Altitude about 46,000 feet, continuing to descend. I'm just wondering, as Newell, as Newell Trask is sitting here with us, how the moon looks to him as we're coming over. Do you think that's the right place? <laughs> yes, that looks like the right place. We should have a countdown okay. now. Hi, Tom. Ignition 10%, 10% throttle, I suppose that is, Wally? Yes, it'll be programmed up as we, uh, as they get closer to the surface. I think you have that data there. Yes. Yeah. Not surface too. Uh, it may be we're having a little ion disturbance from the engine at this point. Uh, no problem, just the fact that might be trouble getting communications through the plume. Well, it would mean then that we would not have communication with them in this critical 12 minutes. Our animation shows. Animation shows the engine firing. The lunar module is proceeding from right to left on your screen. I'll leave it in flu. Relay to it. See if they got me now. I got good signal strength in flu. Yeah, you should have me now, Houston. Eagle, we got you now. It's looking good. Over. Eagle, Houston, that looks good. Eagle, Houston, everything's looking good here. Over. I think you can hear a little excitement in Charlie Duke's voice. <laughs> Eagle, Houston, after you're around, angles. Uh, S-band pitch, minus niner, y'all, plus one-eight. Yeah, communications are in really good shape again. Action thing with the very closely. Roger. Great. Ten minutes to the touchdown. Boy. Ten minutes to a landing on the moon. I think it's been almost ten years since we've been trying to do this. <laughs> now just Two minutes, twenty seconds, everything looking good. We show altitude about forty seven thousand feet. Yeah. Now, in about four minutes from now, they will get their first look at the landing area. So far, now, their, their uh, heads are down. A little fluctuation in the uh, AC uh, voltage now. 
Roger. They're, uh... Just the uh, meter, maybe, huh? They are right. face down, looking windows good, down. Uh, you're still looking good. It's three, coming up three minutes. Their feet forward. That remark on the AC voltage was uh, a meter, possibly. Uh, uh, the ground is not concerned. Right. They roll now through the windows up position. As you just saw. In about three minutes now, they get that first look when they pitch up, go into a more of an upright position. And they can look forward out their windows toward the landing site. At that point, they'll be about three and a half miles high, making about 103 miles an hour forward with about 13 and 8 tenths miles to go. Seven minutes, 45 seconds to landing. You said you're a go to that thing at all at uh, four minutes. Roger, you're a go to, con you go to continue power descent. You're a go to continue power descent. That's another major milestone. Altitude 40,000. This is a go. Houston, we got data dropout. You're still looking good. Go, no go a decision at that point. They could uh, abort the landing at that point if there had been a no go decision. About 68 miles to go. Seven minutes left before landing. Okay, we got good lock on. They're at about 35. Altitude lights out. 35,000 feet high now. LH is minus 2,900. Roger, we copy. That's the earth right out our front window. Houston, you're looking at our delta H. Uh, that's affirmative. Program alarm. Looking good to us. Over. 1202. 1202. Good radar data. Altitude now 33,500 feet. Hal wasn't too far off. <laughs> I suspect that uh, Hal may be uh, just about right by the time uh, uh, the Doug Ward relays that to us, so he's probably a few seconds behind. Yeah. Roger, we got you. We're going at alarm. Roger, 6 plus 2-5, throttle down. 6 plus 2-5, throttle down. Roger, copy. 6 plus 2-5. We're still go, altitude 27,000 feet. Same alarm, and it appears to come up when we have a 1668 up. Roger, copy. What's this alarm, Wally? It's a, a go uh, case. Uh, Eagle, just Houston, apparently we'll some your Delta function uh, that's coming up on the computer is a verb. Roger, Delta H is looking good to us. A verb noun combination, no problem, as I see. Uh, throttle down. Roger, copy. Throttle down. Better than the simulator. Right. <laughs> they say it's better than the simulator. That's consoling. Hey, things look real close. Crowds around this country and all over the world are watching this, listening to these communications. Altitude now 21,000 feet. Still looking close very good. Are. This is the International Arrivals Building, Kennedy Airport, with a big display board there. They Velocity down pictures. now to 1,200 feet per second. Looking this great, is uh, Disneyland Eagle. in California. Okay, I'm still on flu, uh, so we may tend to lose as we gradually pitch over. Let me try auto again now, see what happens. Roger. He's talking about the high gain antenna. Okay, it looks like it's holding. Roger, we oh, got good, good data. Makes the job easier. They're down to just 14 miles to go in four and a half minutes. Seven minutes, 30 seconds into the burn. Four and a half minutes left in this era. Altitude 16,300 feet. Oh, boy. This great the way the communications Eagle, is working. Is descent to fuel to monitor, over. 
760 feet per second on the way down. <laughs> That's pretty slow for space flying. It is. It's as slow as man has ever flown in space. It sure is. Fido says we're go. Altitude 9,200 feet. 830, you're looking great. They're just about Descent rate 129 approaching feet high second. gate. We copy. That's a 7,600 foot level. 1.4 miles high when they get down to a speed of 98 miles an hour and they're just a little under five miles from the landing site. At that point, they can pitch forward, get a really good view Eagle, of the landing site. you're looking great. Coming up nine minutes. At that high We're gate. We're now in the approach phase. Everything looking good. As they're inside now the high 50, gate. 5,200 feet. 5,200 feet. Less than a mile from the moon, sir. Manual attitude control is good. Roger, copy. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're a go for landing, over. Oh, great go. I understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. Shot of alarm. 3,000 feet. Ooh. Call the landing, meaning they're on their spot. Roger. 1201 alarm. We're go. Same tide. We're go. 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Into the ag. 47 degrees. Roger. 47 degrees. Just these communications, too. We're getting this readout perfect. Eagle looking great. Your go. Altitude 1600. Oh, this is... They've got a good look at their site now. Oh. This is the, the critical time. They're going to hover. They're going to make a decision. Apparently, they're... Roger, 1202. We copy it. 35 degrees. 35 degrees. 750. Coming down to 23. 700 feet, 21 down, 33 degrees. Oh, the data is coming in beautifully. 100 feet down to 19. 540 feet down to 30 and a 15. Okay, 400 feet down to 9. Cape forward. 150 feet down to 4. 30 and a half down.
Man on the moon. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh... Oh, jeez. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Ooh. Oh, boy. Thank you. You're wow. looking good here. Mm. Mm. What? <laughs> okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. Mm. Wally, say something. I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold on to my breath. That is really something. Very smooth touchdown. Kind of nice to be aboard on this one, isn't it? Mm. You know, we've been wondering what what this guy Armstrong or Alden would say. He stepped foot on the moon, which comes a little bit later now. Definitely. And just to hear him do it. We're left here absolutely with dry mouths and speechless. Hey, it looks like we're bending the oxidizer up. Roger, Eagle, and you are safe for T1. Over. Eagle, you are safe for T1. I just... And we're Sam safe for T1. Roger, and we see you bending the ox. I just... It's a great simulation of what you can see there, if you could see us. <laughs> that little fly speck is supposed to be a lens. Yeah. See, they must be in a perfect position, upright. We've heard no complaints about their position. Just they a landed one. right in. Just a little dust. Even that concern was yeah. erased. Wow. And there they sit on the moon. Just exactly nominal, wasn't it? Exactly as a flight plan all the way down. Man planning this thing on the surface of the earth. My God. We're done. You know, it's funny, it's too. It's Roger, we have it. Yes, sir, I read Columbia. I guess. Roger, we ring you five by Columbia. He has landed Tranquility Base. Eagle, is that Tranquility? Over. It's interesting that they're referring yeah, to it as Tranquility base. base. Well, good show. That was a confirmation to Columbia. And people have the audacity to say there's not much new going on these days. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one's erased for a long time. I'd like to know what some of those kids will talk to. The next major stay, no stay, will be for the T2 event. That is at... Uh, 21 minutes, 26 seconds after initiation of powered descent. Columbia went up to amateur command reset to uh, reacquire on high again. Copy out. This is a nine-minute period that they have in which they could, uh, uh, under certain phasing conditions, uh, take off again and make uh, re-rendezvous re within uh, two orbits of the nominal. Yes. Uh, but they're not... Uh, they now have the stay, the stay for that period, so they're per apparently not even considering leaving again at this time. They get another an official time for that touchdown of 102 hours, 45 minutes, 42 seconds, and we will update that. Time, which will be in the history books. Eagle, Houston, uh, you loaded R2 wrong. We want 10254. I'd like to know what those kids are kind of pooing this thing are saying right at this moment. I'd like to know what they thought in those moments when our mouths went that throat. How can anybody turn off of a world like this? They had quite a bit of tolerance uh, in that landing speed. Uh, they could have gotten up to almost seven miles an hour, 6.8 miles an hour. The struts are made to withstand that. But they That's came in apparently right